you know, Morgan. Thank you, Jason. Mm -hmm. Of course. One striking thing about this film is just how much of his life Tony Bourdain lived on camera. I mean, there's just this plethora of visual material that you had to work with. Is that a blessing or a curse? Um, it's a blessing. <laughs> You know, not that it can't, you can't uh, curse at it while you're in the middle of tens of thousands of hours of footage, but it's absolutely a blessing. And um, I mean, there were so many things. I mean, you can imagine the amount of footage and the amount of documentation of his life, self documentation, trying to squeeze that into a film, and the number of things that didn't fit in the film that were fantastic. Um, that was hard. But the, the thing, one of the things in the footage that I found really kind of amazing is that when he would sit down with somebody, somebody he hadn't met, at the very beginning of the meal, he would start to open up about himself in a very raw way. He would just start talking about, you know, how he missed his daughter or um, his own struggles with drug use um, in a way. And he would go on, I mean, for a while. And this was part of his technique to get people to open up. Of course, when they edited the shows, they always cut out all of that stuff. But going back and looking at the footage, there's a lot of confessional footage right on camera uh, in scene. And, and I think it was part of why people responded to him. I mean, he was so, it's not like he was a perfect, you know, TV host. <laughs> he was, he was, he was perfect because of his imperfections, that he was um, full of doubt, full of, um, you know, sometimes self-loathing, you know, certainly ups and downs. Um, and I think that all came across, you know, just the fact that he was the first one to admit he didn't have answers. He was looking, looking to learn. And as he says in the film, you know, there's nothing he liked more than to go someplace and be completely surprised by what he found. And I think that's why people liked watching him do that, is that we don't actually get that experience that much. Uh, these days. Right. Um, I want to add one thing on top of that, if it's all right. I, I think that all of those things that Morgan just said um, are what made him such a good journalist. And I, I don't think, you know, I, I know that he, he didn't like to be called a journalist. I asked him specifically about it myself. Uh, but, you know, that that doubt, but also that, that you know, openness to uh, possibility and, and being wrong. Uh, and that ability to kind of share himself to, you know, get the best of um, of what he could from from people who were, he was talking to. Those are all things that we as journalists should be uh, doing more of.